At what point did the rapping start? Rapping started uh, at Dorsey High School. I went to Dorsey High School about uh, 10th grade. I was ditching school, and one of the cats from Caution, there was already a group of like five cats that was winning talent shows all around L.A. They actually had a, um, a demo deal with Capitol Records at the time. Okay. So I was ditching school one day and uh, act like I was writing a rap in the library. One of the guys from Caution had that uh, as an elective, so he came over and seen I was writing a rap. And long story short, invited me to the studio. And uh, we went to the studio right there on Crenshaw, made one song, put Be Real in the, in the sample, rolling like a cycle with the windows rolled down. Hmm. Ice Cube heard that song and wanted to sign us, and it happened to be the song that I was on. So that's how I got in the group. Okay, and Caution was what, five, six people at that point? At that point. And it got whittled down to three? Yeah. So what happened up. to the other other guys? Man, some dudes got life. Some dudes went to jail. It's a couple of them that's still, you know, around. But I didn't really uh, have a relationship with the other guys. I only knew the guy that went to my school, and I was introduced to Cato at the studio when we recorded that song. So it was only us three in the studio when, when, when the shit got made. Okay. So how did Ice Cube get wind of the... Of the music? Well, John Singleton, rest in peace, he was shooting a movie called Higher Learning. Mm -hmm. And it was right by USC campus. So we used to go up to USC and just steal hella shit, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? And just steal shit off movie sets because they was always, you know, shooting movies up there. So one day the nigga was like, this was like six months after we recorded the songs. Like they back up here with these trucks. So we get on the bus, meet up over his house, and walk to USC to go steal some shit. We happen to see Ice Cube walk out of trailer. So we like, oh, shit. So the stealing kind of went out the window. We was like, we got to get back on the bus, go get the tape. So we went and got the tape, waited around until we seen him, knocked on the trailer door, and he came out, got the tape, and called us another six months. Them niggas was graduating at the time. I'm still in high school. He called us and, and uh, said he wanted to sign the last three, whoever was the last song on the tape, because the tape was their demo tape. Mm -hmm. That's who he wanted the group to be. Right, and Ice Cube was huge at this time. I Today mean- it was a good day, Friday. Right, I mean, he had already gone solo. America's Most Wanted was huge. Um, what was the name of the second album? Um, America's Most Lethal Injection. No, Lethal Injection, I think, was the third album. Hold on a second. Uh, hold on. Death Certificate. Death Certificate. Death Certificate was the, the second album. The Predator was the third. Lethal Injection was the fourth. You got the stats over there, I, I got baby. the stats. My I got, the, got stats. the stats. So I'm trying to look at the, the overall time frame. We came in right before Friday dropped. Okay, yeah. So after Lethal Injection, then came, I think, Friday, mm -hmm. which was the soundtrack to exactly. the movie. So, okay, I see. He had already dropped multiple platinum albums on top of all the NWA shit and the Easy e stuff yeah. that he had written yeah. and, and everything else like that. So he was just really the biggest artist on the West Coast, period, right? Yeah. Looking to invest in something new in the hood. Mm-hmm. You know, as in his words, that reminded him of N.W.A. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, shout out to Ice Cube, first of all. Mm -hmm. And he, he invested, man. That shit worked, you know? Right. And he had Lynch Mob Records. Yes, sir. So he signed you guys to Lynch Mob. Sent, signed us to Lynch Mob Records. Who else was on Lynch Mob at the time? KD was on Lynch Mob at the time. Shout out to KD. And I think, I think that was it. Uh, the you know, gorillas, gorillas in the mist. Uh, what's the name of that group? Yeah, that that the lynch mob. Lynch they mob. was like just ending that. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So you sign and it's distributed through who? Distributed through Navarre. Our shit was straight independent. That's okay. why it kind of we was a, he. You know he. Everybody thought it was through priority, but the the albums that we did sell made a big impact because we was like going through an independent distributor and nobody knew that so it you know right. made a little change 